like to start by wishing a very happy birthday to my favorite college baseball coach in the world, Chris Limonis. It's his birthday today, so happy birthday, coach. With that, we'll start with Paul. Coach, uh, when, when you look at this Florida team, uh, what any differences you see from, from this year's team to last year's team? You know, looking at, I guess more specifically, Riley Kugel, like he, he caught fire late last year, and, and this year has kind of been a, a weird deal because he's had five or six 20-point games, and he's had five or six games where he scored five points or less. Just what differences do you see with him? There's some similarities in terms of their guard play. They had excellent guard play last year, um, and they do again this year. In my opinion, they got more weapons out front than they had last year. They've got a glutton of guards. I mean, they just have a bunch of guys that are, are big, strong, powerful, downhill guys. Uh, you mentioned, you know, Kugo, obviously, uh, had an unbelievable freshman year, uh, high expectations, and, you know, I, I'm not in their team rooms or practices, so, you know, uh, I have no idea about any of that kind of stuff. But all I know is he's capable of going off for 30 on any given night. Um, the thing that's changed for them, in my opinion, is just their size. You know, obviously Castleton went down last year late, so he wasn't available when we played them in the SEC tournament, tournament, which hurt them. But I just feel like they've got more size this year. They got four guys. They rotate in at the four and the five, and uh, they're one of the top three or four teams in the country in offensive rebounding. They, they get received like 40, 41 percent their offensive rebounding, uh, their putbacks. And um, I think that's the biggest difference in them is just the quality of depth they have at, at the rim with, with the rebounding and the rim protection and, and the bodies, um, along with, you know, like I said, the guards that can really uh, space the floor and, and play off one another. We'll go to Justin here, uh, middle left coach. Chris, two two part question here. We obviously saw Murph back on the bench on Saturday. Is there a target date or anything for getting him back in, into the rotation? No. And then, um, obviously, you guys don't really plan for him and, and Andrew being out as long as they have been. It's like, like an injury, I guess. But I guess, how has that changed maybe what you had planned for a rotation coming in or, or sort of having to adjust with, with that on the fly? Uh, I don't think like that. You know, I don't have a game plan going into the games on minutes and rotations. Um, certainly, it's something we talk about uh, from game to game. But um, just makes those those type of decisions on the fly. We'll go to Ben, the coach's right. Yeah, in terms of playing on the road, it's been a struggle for uh, this group so far this season. Uh, have there been any specific things you've discussed in, in team meetings or individual meetings with the players uh, regards to uh, what it's like to play in those type of environments? You got a, a tough one, obviously, with, with him being so. Yeah, it's a good point. Uh, we haven't been able to uh, get a true road win um, by the metric. But I believe in this team, and uh, we talk a lot about what's required to win on the road. And if you want to be a, considered a, a high-level team, a tough team, you've got to go into tough environments and, and stay together and figure out a way to play well enough um, to win. And you know, we talk about what everybody talks about, of just sticking together, you know, uh, hanging together through the adversity, through the runs, um, staying focused at the, you know, the task at hand, not getting caught up. Um, with the crowd and, and it becoming too distracting. Um, but I'm looking forward to the opportunity. Um, we're coming off a win. Uh, hopefully we'll have two good days of practice and it's going to be a tall task. They're very, very good, uh, like I talked about earlier, and uh, I'm sure they'll be ready too. Go ahead, Paul. Obviously, he, he had a couple shots go in and out uh, against Vanderbilt, but it seems like Shaq has been more aggressive in the paint the past few games. Uh, is that? I'm sure that's something you talk to him about, but have you seen that difference in, in, in him taking those opportunities to get in the lane? Yeah, I like when he's aggressive. I like when he's downhill. I like when he's getting paint touches. I like for him to finish a little bit better. Again, easy for me to say. You know, I'm not in there with six ten guys, you know, roaming the paint and the bodies that he's trying to score over or through. Uh, he's so dynamic though and uh, he is proven that he's has the skill level to do that. Um, just got to be a little more consistent with it. But 
like I've said earlier, I just really like where he's at with his approach mentally, uh, not even on game day, but all the time. He just seems super focused, and he's had some really good practices, and I think he'll continue to play well. Go back to Justin, then we'll go second row. Coach, we haven't, uh, I guess, checked in on guys since um, since Kobe came back. Just how have he sort of um, adjusted to getting back to the role he's maybe expected to have coming into the year, and, and how valuable were those minutes you know, early in the season to get him to where he is to this point in the season? Yeah, Guy continues to work. Um, on Friday, he had one of the better practices he's had in a while where he had a, a flurry there where he dominated. Scoring, he was blocking shots. Uh, he was running the floor. His teammates, you know, it was, it was maroon versus um, gray. I guess is our jersey colors in practice, and um, his team was doing well, and his, his teammates were excited for him, and it was good to see. And certainly, he understands, you know, where it's at. How valuable those minutes uh, will be for him, I think, will be more determined next year. Uh, but I know he's capable. I know he's. Uh, wants more. I know uh, he's trying to prepare himself, you know, every day for anything that comes his way, and uh, who knows how the season will unfold. But uh, what I love about him is, you know, he's he's a worker. He's a great person. Uh, he's got the right, you know, approach every single day, and uh, you know, he's in a good spot. Go ahead, Coach. How important was for y'all? How important was it for y'all to get that win on Saturday after a couple of tough losses in a row? Yeah, it was a must win. You know, you don't want to say that to, to your team. You don't want them to, to play, you know, scared, if you will, or, um, you know, have any tightness at all. And, and I didn't tell them that. But in our staff talks, you know, that's kind of where we were at for a lot of different reasons. You know, pretty obvious that anyone follows college basketball, how important it was to defend our home court on Saturday and make sure we, we won the game. And um, we did. You know, certainly would have liked to play a little bit better, especially on the offensive end in the second half. Um, it was a, the margin of victory, you know, could have been more if, if we would have knocked our free throws down and, and, you know, scored better at the rim, which has become a little bit of an issue for us um, that we've got to shore up. Got time for a couple more. We'll go second row, Danny P, and then David, and we'll get back down to Brad Dan down there. Coach, I want to ask you about one of your managers, uh, Sal Hallberg. He's a strong kid. Just want, uh, his first year with the program. Just wanted to know what, what has he meant to your program in a short amount of time. Yeah, Sal's been great. Uh, he's been a great addition. He uh, nice kid. Works works hard. Tenable, responsible. Uh, we're glad he's with us, and hopefully he'll be with us for quite some time. As impressive as Tolu's been these games, it's still easy to forget that he's still kind of working his way back to full strength. How do you judge when it's time to, you know, give him a few minutes or maybe just drag him off the court and say, you need to rest because we need you at the end of the game? You know, we try to do that in practice. We try to uh, make sure we're subbing him, you know, enough. But at the same time, you know, we've got to get him in better shape too. So it's a fine line between how much, you know, he goes every day. Certainly, as you all know, and everybody that's been around this program knows, he wants to be out there for every single rep, if it's a practice, you know, or a game. But uh, I, you know, he's in a good spot, and he knows how he feels. And uh, you know, I just saw him walking through the gym over here. He's working on his, his game. You know, he's a tireless worker, and I didn't even realize it um, until this morning. Um, I'm sure I did at the game today. I think he lost on me, but he didn't have a rebound in the first half. You know, and, and we just talked out there, and you know about what what uh, what kind of monster line he could have had. You know, if he would have rebounded a few in the first half and um, you know made some of his bunnies. He still was nine for twelve, but I still feel like he left some food on the table. You know that way, and uh, he promised me that it wasn't going to happen anymore. So uh, we'll see. And, um, but but it's sometimes it's like we all expect him to to make every shot. You know, and these guys are trying to defend him, and they're real physical with him, and they're putting their bodies on him, and everybody knows he's, you know, at the top of the scouting list, and they're all trying to push him away from the basket, and, and it's pretty physical down there, and um, you know, he's certainly got the body to, to handle it, but like you said, he's still coming back from a pretty serious injury, and hopefully he'll feel, you know, like he's all the way back here shortly. Benjamin, the coach is ready to wrap us up.
We've seen uh, Jaquan Scott uh, get into a, a couple of games this year in conference play, especially with Keyshawn having been out of the lineup. You know, what, is, what have you seen from him, uh, and what does he need to do in order to you know, get a few more minutes here and there? Yeah, Jaquan, uh, you know, has been inconsistent, but uh, you know, he's a, he's a live body. Um, you know, he's he's physical. He fits the way we want to play, and he knows what he needs to do. He's just got to be a little more consistent in practice with being on the same page of what we're trying to do all the time, and you know, know, know the coverages we're in, and um, you know, all that goes you know into getting yourself on the floor, but. He'll have opportunities. He'll have more opportunities, and he just got to be ready for him and take advantage of him and uh, prove to all of us that you know he can be consistent uh, with his with his play and with his uh, productivity. And um, you know that's all he needs to do in order to get more minutes.